we have entered a new era of epidemic and pandemic risk, evidenced by increased prevalence, speed, and spread of emerging and re-emerging diseases. The changing climate is expanding the range of animal carrying diseases, of spillover events, and will accelerate the emergence of the next disease X. Health systems are not prepared for the dual burden of climate change and pandemic risk. World leaders are rightly investing in climate change mitigation and adaptation measures. But it's also important that they continue to invest in pandemic preparedness and response, which is a key requirement for humanity's adaptation to a warming world. The world cannot afford to view the existential threats of climate change and pandemics as different issues. On the contrary, they are intimately connected. The one health concept reinforces that animal and human health and environments are interconnected and require a collaborative global approach. Strong, active, harmonized global surveillance capabilities, which is a key element of the 100 mission, will enable faster outbreak alert triggers, especially for low-income regions. The 100-day mission, which is backed by the G7, G20 and CEPI envisions a future in which vaccine development for novel pathogenic threats can be compressed to just 100 days. What we have seen in the past three years is that we can beat the next pandemics if we all come together to deliver the 100-day mission. Humanity now has the scientific knowledge and technical capabilities to contain such outbreaks before they run out of control. While outbreaks are inevitable, epidemics and pandemics need not be.